Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 12. Let's start. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they and some others came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. You know, the spices were to embalm him. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They entered in and didn't find the Lord Jesus' body. While they were greatly perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling clothing. Here we've got two men, it says here, in dazzling clothing. We know from other accounts and other gospels, these so-called men were actually angels. We know from the book of Hebrews that angels, the angels of God, can appear as men. Okay, you know, it says in the book of Hebrews, make sure you entertain strangers because in doing so, some people have entertained angels without even knowing it. So angels can appear as men. And here it said they appeared as men in dazzling clothing. Let's read on. Verse five, becoming terrified, they bowed their faces down to the earth. They said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He isn't here, but is risen. Remember what he told you while he was still in Galilee, saying that the Son of Man must be delivered up into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again? Now, it's very important to understand that angels, at least there are some angels, who actually witness uh, things that go on on the earth, okay? These angels spoke as if they knew exactly what Jesus uh, said to the disciples. And they actually spoke as if they actually heard Jesus say what he said to the disciples. And some angels do. You know, uh, we have some accounts that talk about the angels as being the great cloud of witnesses. You know, in the book of Hebrews, there is what is called the great cloud of witnesses, which includes the angels. You know, and this whole idea of the angels being the witnesses uh, also comes, it actually has its roots in the doctrine of Enoch, as found in the book of Enoch, where it says that the angels are watchers, okay, or in other words, they are witnesses. So these angels were watchers. They saw and they heard, they witnessed what Jesus said to the disciples. Let's go on. Verse eight, they remembered his words, returning from the tomb and told all these things to the 11 and to all the rest. Now they were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James. The other women with them told these things to the apostles. These words seemed to them to be nonsense, and they didn't believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. If you study Peter, you'll see that Peter, his character, his characteristics, he's always the first one to jump into things. He was the first one to jump out of the boat walking on the water with Jesus. He was the first one to speak up on the Mount of Transfiguration. He was the first one to say, you are the Messiah, the, the son of the living God. When Jesus asked, you know, all the disciples, who do you say that I am? He's the first one to speak up in the book of Acts. He was the first one running to the tomb here. Let's continue. Stooping and looking in, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he departed to his home, wondering what had happened. Now you got to wonder how the disciples, having been with Jesus for so long and heard the words of Jesus themselves with their very ears when Jesus told them, you know, that he would rise from the dead. And yet when it happened, they had trouble believing it. So I pray that you will be worthy of being excused from, you know, being in the dark and not really believing when you should believe. I pray that God would give you the spirit of revelation such as you've never known before. Call upon his name. Call upon him, it says, and he will show you great and mighty things. Seek God and you will find him if you seek him with all your heart. So as you go, be blessed. And don't forget, I always check back. We're going through the scriptures here. We're going through every single word and we're talking about them. If you have any kind of comments, please feel free to leave them. And if you want to contact me, feel, feel free to do so as well. 
Thank you and God bless.